Hi everyone, this is Kristen, and if you're the proud owner of a brand new iPhone 8 Plus and you're looking for a waterproof case, you may be wondering whether the free or the nude is a better choice for you. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at both of these cases and do a little compare and contrast. Let's get started. Taking a quick look at the LifeProof Free, we have a slim profile, extremely lightweight case, built-in screen protector, and a little window here on the back for your Apple logo. This is a two-piece case. You need to take it apart. You can use a coin here down in the little slot down here at the bottom, or you can use your fingers or basically pretty much anything. Once you get started, it's quite easy to pry this apart. The back is a little bit on the flexible side, so it's really not hard to take apart at all. Taking a closer look at the component parts, we have our front section here, which is what you're going to insert your phone in face first into. This is what has our built-in screen protector. And then we have the back section of the phone that you're going to put on top. This has a bit of foam down here uh, that runs across. This helps give you just a little bit more shock protection. We also have our little window here, which is going to protect your Apple logo as well as show it off. And of course, we do have a covered clear windows here for your camera lenses. Prior to inserting your phone in the case, you want to make sure that everything is perfectly clean because trapped dust and dirt are not only ugly, they can cause a scratch hazard, and if they happen to be caught in the seals, they can cause the seals to fail, letting water into your case. Not a good situation. So once everything is perfectly clean, you want to lay your phone in here flat, face first, press it into place, and then clip on the back. Looking at the fit of this case on my iPhone 8 Plus, once it is snapped into place, we have a nice, tight, secure fit everywhere. Everything feels very nice with this case. We have a good amount of lip on here, nicely protective for your iPhone screen. Speaking of screens, of course, we have the built-in screen protector on here. Be sure to take off any screen protectors you might have on your phone before inserting your phone in the case because any screen protectors that are already on your phone could cause this to fit suboptimally and potentially cause issues with the amount of waterproof protection that you have. So looking down here at the bottom, looking at our port openings, we got a little door here to open up to access your lightning port opening. This is uh, reasonably generous. It's going to fit some but not all third-party lightning cables. And of course, this case does support wireless charging, so that is excellent. As far as our audio quality is concerned, I think that it's very good with this case. Um, I really have not encountered any issues except for the fact that it perhaps sounds slightly muffled, just a little bit muted. But other than that, um, phone conversations, everything works well, speaker and not speaker. I'm happy with the audio quality for music. I think everything is really about as good as you can get with a waterproof case. No waterproof case is perfect in terms of audio, but I think that the free is pretty darn good. Notice here, by the way, that we do have little spots up here where the speakers are routing sound out toward you rather than toward the bottom. I think that this is a nice feature of the free. So going around to the sides here, we've got some LifeProof branding down here. It's nice on our little accent piece, looks quite pretty. Um, going over here to our volume up and down buttons, they are nicely clicky. They are protected here also by this little ridge that comes out. Our mute switch is easy to operate, a little on the stiff side, but really not bad. And going over here to our power button, everything works well, nice and clicky, no issues there. Looking at the back of the case, I really like the design that LifeProof has with the free case. For one thing, I really do like this rim that runs around the edges here. This uh, does help limit the amount of scratching you're going to get on the back because when the phone is lying flat, it lies on the rim rather than the main part of the back, which of course is very good. This material itself is a matte plastic. It's not going to scratch very much or that obviously, but it is not the hardest of plastics, so it's possible that it, that it is going to get scratched over time. Although, as I said, it's going to be limited because you do have this rim that goes around. We've got some LifeProof branding down here on the bottom, and we have a nice little window here that shows off your Apple logo, but of course it is protected. Speaking of protection, got plenty of protection here for your camera opening. Everything is good here. 
no issues obviously with flash everything works really quite well this is nicely fingerprint resistant by the way with the exception of the window the window is going to show fingerprints but the rest of the back is not going to show fingerprints has a really nice feel in the hand not too slippery there's a nice amount of grip on the sides uh, not too grippy but just enough overall i think this case has an excellent feel in the hand Looking at the built-in screen protector that comes with the free, I find overall everything really works quite well. There's no issue with Touch ID. There's very little screen gap on here, so your optical clarity is as good as really it could be with a plastic screen protector, I think. It's not going to be as good as you are going to have with a tempered glass screen protector or with your native iPhone screen, but other than that, it's really a very solid screen protector. This is going to show more fingerprints and smears because it is a plastic screen protector, but but that's just uh, the nature of the beast. Not a whole lot you can do about that. Typing and texting is all really quite good because of the minimal screen gap. There is no issue with 3D touch. Everything just works really quite well with this. In terms of rainbowing, you do tend to get a little tiny bit of rainbowing. Um, it tends to set in after you have the case on for a bit. It depends on the amount of humidity you have in the air also. But with this case, I have found it so far to be very minimal. So kudos to LifeProof on that. Moving on to the LifeProof Nude, we're looking at a case that has rubberized sides, no screen protector whatsoever, and a thick, clear polycarbonate back to show off your iPhone. This one opens up in basically the same way as the other one. However, rather than pulling the back off, you're actually pulling the sides off. I think that this is because the back on the Nude is quite rigid versus the back on the free is a little bit on the flexible side. So when you are taking apart the nude, you kind of have to take the sides off of the back rather than the other way around. Once the case has been disassembled, make sure everything is perfectly clean. Then put your phone into the back section face up. Then take your front part and put it on top and begin snapping into place. Looking at the fit of this case on my iPhone 8 Plus, got a nice tight fit everywhere. Everything feels nice and secure with this case. We have a good amount of lip here surrounding the screen. Should be nicely protective for your iPhone screen, but of course, keep in mind with the Nude, we don't have any kind of a built-in screen protector. The whole idea with the Nude is that it's screen protector free so that you can actually touch your actual screen when you are using this waterproof case, which is really a pretty cool thing. So. Speaking of waterproofness, one of the things that people often ask is why do you need a waterproof case when your iPhone is already waterproof? And I think it's important to note that the iPhones are currently water resistant. They're not really waterproof. So they will keep your phone safe for 30 minutes at one meter depth of water versus if you are using the free or the nude, you're going to be able to keep your phone for 60 minutes in the water at a depth of two meters. So essentially they double your waterproof protection. So that that is really quite significant. In my opinion, if you're just worried about, you know, the occasional splash of water on your phone, then you're probably fine with the basic waterproof protection that your iPhone comes with. But if you want to do water sports or something like that, spend a lot of time around the water with your phone, then you really might want to consider getting a dedicated waterproof case such as the free or the nude because that doubled waterproof protection is really going to be very helpful for you. So looking down here at our port openings, the uh, port openings here are all obviously all nice and covered because it is a waterproof case. We have a little door here which is covering your lightning port opening. This is reasonably generous and should fit many third-party lightning cables, although just like the free, this does support wireless charging, so that is fantastic. So you might not need to use this for charging. In terms of your audio quality, I'm actually really impressed with the Nude for the iPhone 8 Plus. It seems quite a bit better than the audio quality on the Nude for the iPhone 7 Plus. There may be some slight muting involved but overall I think that uh, it is really quite good and I haven't had any issues with incoming or outgoing phone calls either speakerphone or just uh, using the regular ear speaker listening to music and all that also seems fine although there is a certain amount of vibration with the case when you listen to music so overall I think particularly for a waterproof case I'm really pretty impressed with the audio quality on this so going around to the sides we have a nice rubbery grip here got a little life proof branding I think overall that the new 
has a really nice solid feel in the hand and I do like the degree of grip that you get with the sides. Our buttons are uh, reasonably responsive. Um, I, they're pretty similar to the buttons on the free, have a nice degree of click. You have to press a little harder than with some cases, but overall really pretty good. The uh, mute switch is easy to operate, although a little on the small side. I kind of like what they did with the mute switch a bit better on the free than on the nude because it's larger. And this one just seems a little bit more like it might tend to break over time because it's smaller, but maybe it's perfectly good. I have not had any issues with it breaking. It just doesn't seem to be quite as robust as the one that comes with the free. Going over here to our power button, everything works well. Um, again, it's pretty similar to, in terms of click and all that to the volume buttons. Looking at the back of the case, this crystal clear polycarbonate does a wonderful job in showing off the beauty of your iPhone, and it's also a very thick uh, polycarbonate, so I think it should do a very good job in protecting it as well. However, this material does have its issues. It does have a tendency to scratch, and unlike the free, you don't have that kind of a rim that runs around that's going to protect against scratching, um, so you do have an issue with scratching there. And also, this type of material does show fingerprints and smears quite easily, so I find myself using my microfiber cloth quite frequently when I have the nude on my phone. As far as coverage for your protruding camera, there is no issue there. Everything is well protected, although it's important to keep this area clean so that you will get nice clear photographs. And as I mentioned before, this does support wireless charging, so everything is good there. As far as the screen is concerned, you're just looking at your regular iPhone screen, so there's no screen protector to discuss, and there is no problem with Touch ID. All of that works very well. So overall, just a really nice case from LifeProof. At this point, you may be asking yourself, which one is the better case, the free or the nude? Well, if you want screen protection, obviously the free is the obvious choice there. It's also $10 cheaper than the nude. It's a lighter weight case, and I I think it probably requires less maintenance. However, the nude is a great choice if you really want to touch your screen, if you like the fact that you can see the back of your iPhone and you don't mind uh, constantly wiping it with a microfiber cloth to get rid of the smears. Both of them are great choices. They both are going to have the same amount of drop protection, the same amount of waterproof protection, both at 6.6 .6 feet. They're really solid cases that are going to do a great job protecting your phone. It just depends upon which one appeals to you most and it's just a matter of personal preference. Again, we've been looking at the LifeProof Free and LifeProof Nude for iPhone 8 Plus. These cases retail for $89.99 and $99.99, respectively. They're available directly from LifeProof's USA website, as well as LifeProof's Asia website, as well as many other retailers. I will put links below where you can find out more about them. Many thanks to the kind folks at LifeProof Asia for sending me out these samples to review. If you have any questions about these cases, please feel free to put them in the comments below, and I will do my best to address them. And if you are interested in subscribing to my channel, Channel, please do consider it because I have lots more great case reviews for iPhone 8 Plus yet to come. Again, this is Kristen, and this is the LifeProof Free and LifeProof Nude for iPhone 8 Plus. Have a fantastic day.